your ball. She's an amazing coach, and I just hope that someday she doesn't get her own team, leave me, and make me have to coach against her. Nice shot, Bree, get back and play D. Hustle, Katie, come on now. I don't call her coach, I call her Tiff. Like, she's almost more like a, she is more like a friend to us. I love giving back. I love being able to mentor to the girls, relatively young, so they, you know, I can interact with them, you know, very well, and uh, just being there for them, listening, and helping them. Before turning to coaching, Tiffany Tate was a standout basketball player. She played four years on the varsity at Chandler High School, winning two state championships, and her abilities drew interest from some colleges. But Tate could not play on. When Tiffany was just four months old, she was diagnosed with cystic fibrosis, and her condition would no longer allow her to play. When you got word that she had cystic fibrosis, what was your reaction? My heart sank. We were devastated. And the doctors told us this is not something good to have. Lois was also told by doctors that her daughter's life expectancy would be about 13 years. Tiffany has beaten those odds, but her genetic disease is not letting up. Coming out of high school, Tiffany's lungs were working at 50% capacity, and now the 27-year-old's breathing is down to 25%. Speaking for an uh, extended amount of time and walking far distances take everything out of me, and I have to do oxygen a lot, and. I do oxygen completely at night. This is the vest that I wear to help pound me to get the mucus out of my lungs. Tiffany's daily routine includes five hours of breathing treatments, shots for cystic fibrosis related diabetes, and taking 20 vitamins a day, all while hoping for a double lung transplant. Last April, Tiffany was approved by the University Medical Center in Tucson to be put on a transplant waiting list. Then, in August, she received a letter from Arizona's Medicaid program saying that the state would no longer cover her costs. To get that letter saying, yeah, no, sorry, we, we actually can't uh, help you out, it's just, you're devastated. You feel, you know, um, if I don't get that transplant, I will die. Through fundraisers and a private donation, Tiffany now has the $277,000 for the procedure and is back on the waiting list. But she still needs more funds for her aftercare. We've had referees donate back their, their pay. Um, we went to Notre Dame High School and they donated their gate from that evening to her transplant fund. I'm gonna fight, you know, all the way until the end and whenever that end is, um, I mean, I'm definitely not laying down, you know, going easily. We all love her and support her, and now that, like, all of this is happening, we, like, realize, like, how bad it's been because we didn't even know, and I think that's just made us, like, appreciate her even more. She means everything to us. You know, we are Team Tiff. She, we wouldn't be anywhere without her. When you get that transplant, what are some of the things you want to do? First thing I want to do is I want to play the girls in basketball, that's for sure, because. You know, you can harp and yell on the sideline, kind of tell them, you know, what to do, and you kind of wonder, like, do they think she's full of crap? Like, does she really know how to play? So I definitely want to teach them a few things. 